Well, I actually wasn't going to play at the start, but uh, our school team had a, down at the junior school had a team, so I started in grade six and just kind of fell in love with it from there. Mention Theo Sauter's name in the rugby community and words of high praise will follow. Explosive, tough, humble. It's how many describe the 18-year-old who has become not only one of the best young rugby players in BC, but in the entire country. He could play hopefully for Canada one day. He could represent the country in Canada Sevens at the future Olympics. I think he has that potential. He has the speed, he has the aggressiveness on defense to be successful in seven-a-side rugby. I mean, he's electric. He's, he always makes an opportunity for himself. He always uh, gets the ball across the game line. And just as a teammate, he's, he's respectful, he's humble. He's always willing to help out and help you improve your game. For me, it's kind of just like getting together with friends and then just lots of new experiences, like I get to travel, travel the world, get to play with a bunch of new people, make a bunch of new friends. Theo got to do that in the Cayman Islands last year. Despite being in high school, he was picked by the Canadian Maple Leafs for a senior men's tournament. He also represented BC at an under-18 tournament in Las Vegas in January, coming in second overall. It was a really good experience to go down to Vegas, uh, play with a bunch of new guys, but uh, it kind of sucked that we, we fell just short in the finals. But. It, it was a good, good experience. Theo and his schoolmates didn't come up short last month, though. The star fullback led St. George's to a second straight Sevens Provincial Championship. Now the focus is on the 15s, the Fraser Valley qualifiers, and then the Provincials later this month. A lot of teams know who he is now, whereas last year they didn't. So this year, you know, because he's known, teams are a little more reluctant to kick the ball to him. And when they do, teams also key on him. But the thing about Theo is he knows that and he can set his other teammates up. I'm feeling good. It looked like we got a solid run prime for us. So we got provincials coming up in the next couple of weeks. So we're just, everything we do from now on is just working towards that. One, two, three, six! How cool is that? If you know an athlete that you think should be featured in our Athlete of the Week seg segment each and every Tuesday around this time, make sure you contact us through our website, breakfasttelevision.ca.